What's up guys, it's Drac, and this is a package from Lin. Lin is better known as JSPB, and he's been making 3D printed blasters that are just ridiculously innovative and ridiculously cool over in Taiwan for basically longer than anyone else. I wanna say JSPB is really the pioneer of 3D printed blasters in our hobby, and it just wouldn't be the same without him. So let's tear through just a, a mountain of customs paperwork uh, to see. Every once in a while, one of these packages shows up with his latest and greatest developments and achievements in it, and every time, it is just so very exciting. So there's a lot of stuff in here. It looks like we've got stickers that say Urban Treasure Hunter, Tree of Eternity, and Replicant on them. Replicant, I'm assuming, is uh, this is all Blade Runner-esque. Right? Very, very exciting there. It is November 2019, right guys? Hope everybody understands that reference. And then this appears to be some sort of paneling. This is some more paneling. I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna go to. This is a very interesting product. You kind of wear it like this when you're single uh, loading these pistols. And this is what he likes to call the dart burger. Um, and it's, I don't know exactly how to open yield dart burger but there's a way to open this where it'll splay open into two parts so it's kind of tricky to open but when you open it it splays into two parts like this and it holds all of your reloads uh safe and sound and secure in here these appear to be all worker gen threes very kind of him to send me with one of the the dart burgers uh i think that they're really interesting i know that guys in singapore have special boxes to carry their x darts in and that's when darts start to get crazy valuable so i think that this is a really novel and neat way to do that and it's kind of a way to carry them into battle i'm not entirely sure on the practicality of this although even uh, when open like this, you can sling it like this and hold them and they're still kind of ready to go. Now, the real meat and potatoes of this video though, the thing that's ridiculously exciting and oh man, it's in our colors too, is right here. So these, these look like laser pistols. These are so cool. So this is an RSCB, uh, really at this point, the master of the RSCB. Uh, we've got, it holds one, two, Three, four, and five. Just five. Everybody in the car, so come on, let's ride. So with five darts in, we can close that up. That's a really great uh, pop and snap. It's kind of like a very novel, simple machine. I wonder how many prototypes it took to get that click right. Grip is uh, literally like a match grade sort of a competition Olympic pistol. We've got super funky tubing on here, a little bit of an orange tip, a pretty standard barrel of, I'm assuming, uh, relatively short length, and then a plunger back here to prime that back. Not a huge stroke. The whole blaster is held together with two uh, rods on either side, and then our match grade pistol, and we'll do our best here, uh, square it up. That's so cool. Tilt it down. <laughs> awesome, awesome stuff. And then over here, it appears this is a more, possibly a more serious version of the same thing. We've got a lot going on here, a lot to unpack. I can't wait to take these guys outside. These are so neat. Looks like this is an inverse of my color scheme. Hope you guys are enjoying the bubble wrap ASMR. Completely different grip, completely different pull tab, extra bonus elastic on the sides here to get more performance out of it and what appears to be a single shot foregrip where the grip of this blaster itself has its own kind of detent and trigger. The trigger is a two part construction. Same sort of novel construction back in here. Let's go ahead and load two. Three, we'll go ahead and close that, then we'll load one up here. That was pretty short, sweet, and to the point. So that comes down, this comes back, and we have a pistol that makes every iteration of the secret shot absolutely green with envy. So firing there is our primary shot, and then down here we've got, that's so cool. So it's kind of like a flipper. You throw one of your other fingers out to trigger that. Just a really, really cool, really novel, really innovative design. It's like two pistols 
in one, and I'm just a big fan of keeping the RSCB alive. Let's take this, let's take our dart burger, let's take our match grade pistol all outside, and let's see what they're really made of. What a great box. All right, guys, so the Zert obviously has a very interesting kind of belt retention system, sort of like a holster, but not quite. I think that it's interesting that it all fits together into this really interesting like desk sort of um, kind of kind of like organizer of sorts. I think that it's pretty cool. There's a hole here so that if you want your phone can sit there, you can keep your watch there. It's got a little replicant logo and then of course a tray for darts. Nowhere for Jinx to sit, sadly. So we're gonna go ahead, take these Worker Gen 3s, load it up all the way, put a few over the chronograph. There's something about doing chronograph work that Jinx is really into uh, putting herself directly into the line of fire. So we'll pull this back, we'll take our match grade pistol and 98. 97, 100, not bad, 96, so it seems to be consistently just under 100 and then 99. Now, I do wanna point out that you can store emergency darts down here. This will take full links and half links. Realistically, only full links will fit in the under compartment. I'm gonna grab a few more from the, uh, the dart burger here and we'll fire them downrange. Uh, I do want to applaud Worker. The Worker Gen 2s are pretty terrible darts. It seems like the Worker Gen 3s are a little bit better. So we're gonna point out one sad flaw about RSCBs here in the process of firing. So uh, firing downrange, you'll note I tilted this pistol down and up. It's a pretty solid shot. Now if I tilt back to prime and don't let the darts chamber, nothing happens. And that's uh, the consequence of a gravity fed hopper like this as opposed to one that's angled instead being vertical is that you do have to tilt down every time you want a shot. So if you get into the habit of going down as you prime, it's not that big a deal. Overall, very spinnable, very cool. I like the Zert a lot. I like that it's got a replicant logo. I like that it's all dragged out and Admittedly, maybe it's a little silly, but I like that it's so accessory friendly. Now, on the other hand, you've got this one, which seems to be just purely performance-based with the tack rail up top, with the RSCB, with the super cool bonus shot down here. So we'll prime that one and this one, uh, and we should be ready to go. Let's see if they're getting the same performance. Jinx, are you just gonna sit there? Jinx. Ugh, okay, freedom. Jinx. Every time I go to pick her up, she walks around like she doesn't want to be picked up. All right, down we go. So let's fire one over the chronograph. 94, 96. And I'm comfortable saying that that's a very similar performance. Now this one on the other hand is uh, very different in that it's a direct inline shot and yet slightly lower performance there at 82. So let's see if maybe we really ramrod the dart in if it'll get any better. I think that that's about it. So at 84, that's definitely an emergency backup shot, but I like the overall profile of this. You can of course separate these. They're very modular. There's actually no difference between the Zert and the dual stack uh, other than the addition of this accessory rail here on the top. And then this of course has this full foregrip built into its rails. And then there's a slightly different grip on each of them. This is uh, JSPB's 1911 style grip. And then this is definitely some sort of a match grade slash Blade Runner-esque kind of profile. But overall, both very, very cool pistols. Uh, just killing it. Like I said, 3D printing uh, blasters would just not be where it is today without JSPB. And it's really, really amazing stuff. His print quality is all right. Uh, but overall, I'm just very pleased that he is constantly innovating these, constantly adding stuff. I thought that we might get slightly more performance with the bands on this one, but it would appear that it's a uh, pretty pretty nominally right at that uh, 100 FPS sort of threshold. So overall, very sweet pistols, perfect for super stock, perfect for plinking, lots of fun. And I mean, this one's perfect for, uh, for the nightstand out there in November 2019. Um, 
Thank you guys very much for watching. Please go check out JSPB. He's got a full website. He's on the gram. He's doing really, really cool stuff, and he has been for a very long time. So if you're interested in these pistols, they're super duper affordable. I don't want to price them explicitly uh, because they do have so many accessories on them, and I know that he kind of prices by option, but uh, I think that they're very fairly priced, and I think that they're very handsome to boot. This is just iteration on iteration on iteration. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Check out my friend. Stuff. Much love, Nerf on Drek out. Uh, uh, uh.